Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I am proceeding to talk about uh, dot matrix, how to interpret results. For example, as you see on this picture, we can see such boxes as here. And uh, today I'm going to talk about what these boxes means. And I already made video about uh, this first picture, about repetition, when we see repetition uh, of lines. And today I'm going to talk about uh, picture E. And if we compare this picture and what we see here, as you, as you see, the difference would be that here we have a decline line and uh, here we have incline. And as I already explained in my previous videos, uh, here we have a comparison of two uh, segments of the DNA, RNA or uh, polypeptide chain that goes in this direction and in this direction. And uh, in this picture the direction would be this and this. So zero point would be over here. But no matter how we plot uh, whether using this variant or this variant, we are going to get the same pattern here and this doesn't affect our results. Let me increase this picture and as you see we very often see uh, such results where we see boxes of the different color intensity and this is exactly the same what we see here. As you see some boxes are black and some boxes are grain scale, some more intensive and they also have their own patterns if you compare them. And no matter what is the pattern and design of such boxes, whenever we see them we can uh, instantly tell that this is, would be low complexity regions. And here is an example. Imagine that we have a um, sequence, something like that. And this can be polypeptide sequence that would be uh, A, B, C, 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 D, and E. And we compare this sequence with another sequence that is very similar to this or the same sequence. So this is small fragment, so we can expect that uh, we can find uh, two uh, fragments that is, would be similar on the different uh, polypeptides. So A, B, C, 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 D and E. And now if we build a grid, we would see what the results we can get here. So, as you see, we have a repetition of C here on both strands. And let's see how this would affect our picture. So, as you remember, we have to put a dot every time when we have two the same letters in the same box. And if we don't have coincidence of letters in the same box, we just leave that box uh, empty. This is not ideal grid, but, but I still think you would see um, the pattern. So here we have a and A, so we put dot here, and B and B, so we put dot here, and in this row we, we see C here, and here, and here, and here, so we put dots everywhere here, the same with the next row, and the same with the next two rows, and now we have uh, D here, and, and E. So now you see a line here and the box in the middle in the region where C repeats four times here and here. 
So we plot our two polypeptides in these directions. And this is exactly what you can see on this picture. So the same pattern, line and the box in the middle. So we can say, for example, that uh, box here that is very intensive in color probably would have the same amino acid that repeats on both of the strands. So we have a repetition of one amino acid. And uh, what about boxes that is lighter in color? And here's another example. Imagine that this time we have polynucleotide chain that would be as follows. So A, B, C, D, C, D, C, D, and E, F. And the same polypeptide chain we plot on the X axis. So A, B, C, D, C, D, C, D, E, and F. So once again we make a grid and I will speed up a video in order to save a time. And this is what we got. And let's once again put dots whenever we have the same letters. So here and here. And C we have here. And also let's check the whole row. So we would have also here and here and next row we would have repetition of D we put dot here here and here next row repetition of C and D next row and C again and D next row one more time and E and F. So as you see, once again, we have a picture similar to previous one, but this time this would look more like a chessboard. And uh, if you would take a look on this um, picture from afar, you would see it not like a white box, but like a gray box. Because here we have a mixture of black uh, cells and cells that we can uh, completely uh, make white and in this case we would see gray color and that means whenever we see gray color that this is going to be repetition of two or three uh, this can be nucleotides or uh, polypeptides we also call this uh, satellites so as you see here we have uh, repetition of uh, C and D on both strands and this uh, how we also get a pattern where we have lines so this can be one line second, third, and so on. And this is exactly what we see on our picture here. For example, this box looks like uh, just uh, diagonal lines. Those boxes that looks uh, very dark can be a repetition of the same residues tens and hundreds of times. Now looking at this picture, you may say that here we have on both strands repetition of, uh, for example, microsatellites like uh, C, D uh, in our example here and where we have high intensity 
for example here we have repetition of the same amino acid uh, over and over again and that's why we have this block that is very dark in color and um, now let me return to uh, first slide and as you see I already made video about picture A, B and today E and F and in my other videos I am going to explain what these patterns means and how we can interpret them if we see them on our dot plot. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.